Thank you, welcome, thank you. Before we start, I want to say one or two words about tomorrow night's great new show, The Faith Factory Show. Ooh. And as a matter of fact, we have in the studio audience tonight the host and his lovely co-host. Give a big hand, please, to Ralph Hapshat and the vivacious Maisie Strothers. Hey, Ralph! Oh, great. Let's get a camera in there, for heaven's sake. Over the moon about that commercial, Macy. Thanks, Bert. I got a good show lined up for us tomorrow night, Ralph. Oh, you bet, Bert. Good! I'm gonna be there. Ain't we all, viewers? <laughs> Macy Struthers with my husband. God, I must have been blind. Still, the weaker the man, the dumber the blonde. Isn't that um, Brad and uh, Janet Major sitting in the audience, huh? What an ideal couple they are. You know, more than anyone else in Denton, they represent the old values. Ike would have been proud of them. <laughs> and now, would the first couple who seem to have made a hash of their marriage and cooked their goose step this way, please? You! Hey, hey. That's us, Brad. Come on, what's cooking up there? Come on down, you guys. Let's feel you. I'm not going, Janet. We've got you. Everyone's watching. Now, introduce yourselves. My I'm name Janet is Brad. Maj oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Janet Majors, and this is my husband, Brad. Hey, Brad, we've been hearing some bad things about you. Haven't we, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we, Janet? Uh, uh, yes, uh, he needs help. <laughs> help? Let's face it, Janet. Brad's an emotional cripple. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It's just... It looks like rest home for this stupid old marriage, eh? <laughs> yeah. Tell me, Janet, do you watch Denton Vale? Uh, yes, I've caught it once or twice. Yeah. That's right. TTV's most popular hospital series featuring those perennial favorites, Nation and Cosmo McKinley, neuro specialist par excellence. I recommend, if you'll pardon my French, Janet, that you send Brad to them for treatment. Oh, uh, well, uh, I know he's a little boring, but uh, neuro specialists. Uh, that's that's right. Right. It's no drastic. use pussy footing around, Janet. We have to cut quick and deep. <laughs> Bert brought them over from Europe. Oh? They had a very popular series together. It's still rerun in a lot of countries. You must have seen them in Denton Vale. No, I never watched that. But I'm afraid there's only one solution, isn't there, folks? One, two, three! Denton! Don't go away. We'll be right back to see your Brad and Janet want to play or pass. Congratulations. I think you've made a wise decision. But, but I... Janet, I'm, I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? You're ruined the show. Bert's made all the arrangements. But I don't need treatment. But you do need glasses, eh, stupid? <laughs> Doesn't he customize? By you. Bert's right, you're going. It looks like Brad and Jonathan have a business. Make here some more prizes for Maze here on Marriage Maze. Dear Blender. You won't blend into the background for this in your oh, home. Won't you help the first defender or toaster? Caught up in the popularity ratings. Don't you put the burn on me? <laughs> Look at this. Refrigerator. Why are we always sooner related? Bitch, you 
Cooking in the kitchen or crying in the bedroom all night. Living on a knife, eh? Dear knife drawer. Face sharp. Knife in hand. Now won't you help me to face life more? Oh, trash can. You can't tell what the trash can can. Don't you put the dirt on me? Bitching in the kitchen or crying in the bedroom all night. Everything used to be okay, but I've been had. And Brad, I'm glad to say, is on his way. Crying in the bedroom all night. Shower curtain. Wash those spoons away. Oh, won't you help me to be certain? Oh, toothpaste. Don't you put the squeeze on me. Deep Why are we only sooner or later? Bitching in the kitchen or crying. And now it's back to marriage maze, and for those of you who are Dale watchers, here's our surprise guest. Yes, and here's Bert. Hey, folks, it's Ricky from the restaurant. Hey, Bert. Hey, Ricky. I've come for Mr. Majors. Brad will learn how to care in a surgical chair. Nothing uh, serious, I hope. Oh, no, no. Just a routine checkup. Just a routine checkup, a eh, viewers? Honey. <laughs> Tell me, spectator, why are we all sooner or later? Bitching in the kitchen or crying in the bedroom all night. Well, Bert's done it again, another Rocky marriage is headed for intensive care. The subject is committed! As are we all. Denton Mayo. The arrival. Introducing Brad and Janet Majors. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Majors, how wonderful to see you. I'm Dr. Cosme McKinley, and this is my sister and colleague, Dr. Nation McKinley. We understand you've been going through a rather trying time. Well, yes, we now, have. Now, but... now listen, there, there's nothing really wrong with me. Janet and I haven't been getting along too well lately, and I've had a little, a little trouble. Oh, Dad! Oh. Does he do this often? Oh, no, he's never done this before. Good. Then there's still hope. Lots and lots of hope. If anyone can help Brad. Well, he does need help. Ah, that hands along. You've arrived. Oh, that was real short enough. It's because they are the monkeys. Now. Attend to Mr. Majors, nurse. There are just one or two formalities that have to be dealt with Mrs. Majors. A contract to be signed. Oh, uh, uh, can I do that later, please? Of course you can, Mrs. Majors. Sign the contract tomorrow. Uh, Mrs. Majors, uh, just one or two details. Does Brad have any living relatives? Any blood relatives? No, he doesn't. Uh, can I take care of this later? Of course. Why did you tell me not to sign now? Well, that's where you get the first day free. 